Now we're moving on to the interossei muscles of the fingers, and an easy way to remember them is either the dabs or the pads, and the dorsal do abduction, and then the palmar do adduction. So he can do that motion there a few times, and that's gonna check the distal end of the brachial plexus right there, just like that. Now if we were to muscle test these, if he brings his fingers all the way out, you can do each one separately by just doing a little challenge there to check the abduction of each of these. This one actually has two abductors because anything from the midline on this middle finger is considered abduction. And then that'd be the last one there. He brings his fingers all the way together. Now if we were to try and, um, try and move them apart, just like that, hold there. Same thing, hold there. We'll skip this one because we already did both on that. And then try and move this out from the midline there. For a little bit more of a clinically relevant way to test these muscles at the same time, what we can do is interlock fingers, just like so, and he can try and squeeze my fingers together, good, and then I'm gonna try and spread them apart, hold there, and now move them all the way out, and now I'm gonna try and bring your fingers back together. And just keep holding there, I'll move my fingers, and then again, try and bringing them back together.